Alright, Hathaway Day response video. Same old kind of rag. Uh, he says, you know, my um, arguments are all straw man arguments, and people are misparaphrased, and blah, blah, blah. Same old jive. Um, um, arguing the messenger rather than the message, blah, blah, blah. And oh, he just claims that, oh, we vote, we we won the argument. So, yeah, it's your argument that's no good. He just says it, doesn't make an argument. So, anyway, um, so after four minutes and 20 seconds, he gets around to talking about the actual video and responding to it. So, he's played a clip where I point out the hypocrisy, the obvious hypocrisy of somebody who's pro procreation and uh, yet wants the right to die. Well, I don't think you've actually heard me say I'm pro procreation. Yeah, what I've heard you do is defend procreation. That's all I need you to do is defend it as an act, and yep, that's all you need to do. That's pro, in my opinion. Done. What I'm for is uh, existent, um, rational beings having the same rights. I don't know what that means. The same rights given to by whom? I'm saying that it's not an activity for which you have an intrinsic right, like, I don't know, sticking your finger up your own ass, or sticking your finger in your nose, or doing all these other silly things that you can do to yourself. It's an act of overt imposition on something else. You're going to gain your satisfaction and satisfaction of your ambitions through this vehicle of another conscious being. It's a little more serious than something that's some intrinsic right. So until you explain to me exactly where this de right is derived from, uh, the right doesn't exist. In my opinion, it'd be stupid for you to say it's a natural right. Well, then rape is a natural right. Um, men are bigger. Might makes right. That's what nature says. So if you're going to use nature as an argument, that's no good. Where's your, where's, where do people derive this right to conduct biological experiments on sentient beings? Where? Is this right derived? And somebody who's wealthy, and mid or higher middle class, etc., or even middle class, I, I don't think they should enjoy a privilege. Oh, so now it's a privilege. So then it was a right, now it's a privilege. Uh, you know, uh, make up your mind. Um, yeah, well, those things kind of kind of be earned, right? So as soon as you call it a privilege, then privileges usually come with some sort of demonstration of merit. I argue that neither party has a right, the poor person or the rich person. But obviously the wrong can be committed less violently or less aggressively. So the crime of procreation, it, the crime of rape would be less of a crime if the rapist wore a condom, right? Because at least then he's not giving her a disease or a, a pregnancy. Um, and likewise, the crime of procreation is less of a crime when you actually build a nest of some kind. You actually have some kind of hope that when you lay the eggs, the eggs aren't going to rot in sewage. Uh, this whole idea that poor people have a right to uh, basically know their kid is going to have a 1 in 100 chance of getting out of the slum they, they birthed it to. Um, is bullshit. You want to you want to have a fantasy that it doesn't money doesn't matter? Well, it's a fantasy, idiot. Of a higher reason that they can procreate as as to to somebody's poor. Lots of poor people live happy happy lives. Well, I'm not going to argue it. Okay, fine. You think the poor working class uh, minority who is beat? I mean, the majority who is beat to shit by the rich are having a wonderful life. Okay, fine. I say they're imbeciles. Okay, I say they're the product of Im idiocracy. Um, whether they have a smile on their face, and again, it's irrelevant to this whole equation anyway, because we're not talking about the people who are happy with their existence, we're talking about the people who are unhappy with their existence, all right? And they're the ones that have the veto right. Um, and on benefit, on checkout, go, you know, yeah, I've enjoyed my life. Um, Again, you're going to keep arguing from subjective opinion. I don't give a fuck what their silly opinion is, okay? Make an argument explain to me why there is such an intrinsic, factual, actual, definite positive here. Theirs is the aggressive act shithead. You still can't figure that out, okay? The fail-safe is doing nothing. They're going to aggressively do something. It's the do-somethingers who have to defend what they're doing. The do-nothingers don't have to defend it because it's obviously fail-safe. It's obviously no parm, no foul. 
Okay, they're the ones aggressing. They have to defend the aggression. They have to defend, they have a right to torture the victims that will be inevitable of their activity. That's my opinion. And it's, it's, it's imbecilic. It's factually stupid. It's a fact that it's ignorant. That it's void of any kind of meaning or substance. It's just some sort of crap that you're farted out of your face. It's a face fart. The, the state of being for myself, you know, is um, the old is art dilemma. Uh, well, that's your dilemma. There is no such dilemma for people with any kind of brain. They don't have any fucking goddamn problem with this is art dilemma. Okay, uh, Tyrannosaurus is very big. Uh, I ought not to. You know, call its mother, just tell it's its mother wears army boots. Duh. I, I am in a particular state of uh, being from which there is no art that you can uh, transfer. Uh, Fuck you, there's plenty of arts. You ought not to torture, you ought not to rape, you ought not to murder, you ought not. I can give you a whole fucking list of arts. All right, you ought not to bite off more than you can fucking chew, as the dumb, ignorant, moron poor do. Um, I'll deal with this more in a I mean, you ought not to do something unless you can do it right. In a, in a separate video. You, 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 it is reasonable that you hold it to account in the same way that uh, it, it's reasonable that people scratch their head and say... Why do you continue living if, if you, you think the goal is to exterminate life? Oh, well, I guess the, the, if the goal is to exterminate life, I don't think killing myself actually accomplishes that, does it, fuckhead? Oh, no, let's see, there's seven billion humans, there's, I don't know how many gazillions of animals there are, sentient creatures, being caught up in this idiotic fucking goddamn grist mill, and you're going to sit there and ask me a stupid question like, why don't I kill myself? Oh, yeah, how do you, how do you go, go effectively fight the cause, kill yourself, all right? So anytime somebody's fighting for a cause, a political ambition, any fucking goddamn change in the world, the answer to that person is kill yourself. That's the solution. That's the way to win. Fuck you, you can't be this fucking stupid. I mean, I've only made this argument 17, 18, 19, 25 times, and you fucking idiots just walk right past it like you're too stupid to understand. No, duh, fuckhead. The subject's anti-natalism, you dumb shit. Okay, I'm after the cause of the disease, all right? I'm not trying to cure my personal disease. I'm trying to cure the fucking disease, you fucking idiot. Um... It's, it's an intuitively natural question. That was no, no, it's, it's a fucking ignorant, stupid question, and there's no comparison between uh, uh, somebody asking me, well, I'm fighting the cause of antinatalism, which is pregnancy, people having children, not something I've done, not some crime I committed, not some activity I was ever involved in, uh, not something I can control from my position. I can't undo my birth, and I certainly can't undo the birth of other people if I allow them to be born. So, duh, how is that relative to your complete duplicity in saying, gee, I find life insufferable, but I think it's great that people are imposing it on other people. I mean, maybe you think your life is insufferable because it's all your fault. Maybe you realize that you're such a fucking stupid, ignorant piece of crap that's why your life sucks. My life sucks because life itself sucks. And anything intelligent living on this fucking shithole of a planet with these fucking lying scum humans and in this carnage of these fucking parasitic animals eating each other all fucking day long, all fucking night long, I find it repugnant and disgusting because I'm intelligent. All right? So I don't think I'm the problem. Life is the fucking problem and that's why I want it peacefully put out of its fucking misery, because it's a miserable pile of shit. Thanks to assholes like you. I mean, um, it's correct, just as the question's posed to yourself, as I've said, and likewise, I, I admit that it's a naturally occurring question. Yeah, it's not a naturally... The naturally occurring question is, how can you fucking hypocrites pet your cat and then eat a pig? 
How how do you fucking goddamn duplicitous, overtly duplicitous motherfuckers look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm intelligent, or I know what the fuck I'm doing. You're fucking idiots. Um, but it is faulty. No, you're faulty. And, um, yeah, he's for the right... Okay, I'll come back. I won't play my bits. I'll play his bits. Alright, so we're at the part where I basically just put it to him, if your kid got cancer, torture is suffering, and no right to die, no blah blah blah. You're not going to be able to give kids the right to die or right to make these decisions. If they're miserable, they're going to have to be, they're going to have to just uh, buck up and take it. Uh, you want the right to get out, and yet you would impose the, uh, it on them, just because you weren't suicidal when you were 15. But what if you were? Well, you, you made light of, of, of my outlook on cancer. Um, I made light of my leukin cancer? I don't, know. I don't know what he said there. And currently my uncle, who I'm really close with, uh, is that. Currently my uncle, I think he said, is close with. Dying of cancer. He's dying of cancer. Uh, so, you know... I've I'm not the one making light of it. You are, asshole. You just don't seem to get it, okay? I find your behavior offensive, all right? You're giving people cancer. You're voting for more cancer, shithead. You're the one making light of it. You're glibly saying that your suffering doesn't matter because I say so. I say it's worth it. We, mount, we climbed a mountain, therefore it's worth it. You're the one making the argument defending it, shithead. I'm the one arguing against it, fuckface. I've seen you bouncing off the walls. Uh, people's, you know, and you're going, tell me what I say, this, show me saying this, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but but you, you basically trash me and you sit there. Uh, yeah, of course I trash you. That's right. You're a repugnant, obnoxious pile of shit. That's right. How dare you? How dare you complain about your life when you would impose it on somebody else? You'll give somebody the goddamn license. They pass no fucking test. And on top of passing no fucking test, they don't even have ten dollars. And you'll give them the right to give birth to a consciousness and maturate it into the world. Fuck you. Speaking to your followers um, without need to really accurately uh, reflect my arguments, it seems. Um, you know, so, so, so please don't... You know, what's, what's, wait, where's, where have I inaccurately uh, talked about your argument? You think people have an inalienable right to procreate. Uh, right coming from where? Oh, right, no source. And if you're going to say it comes from nature, well, then you might as well advocate for the right to rape. Men are bigger than women. They should tell women what the fuck to do, and if the women don't like it, they should bip us their face. That's nature, you dumb moron. Um, there, there are risks of cancer. Um, and you're the one making the argument that the risks outweigh the benefits. And you're making the argument that the fucking goddamn risks are um, minor compared to the magnificent accomplishment that you can't articulate as being anything. Except, well, it's not as bad as it used to be. That's your fucking brilliant explanation for why you have a right to play with consciousness, why you have a right to do biological experiments on sentient beings is here's the here's the efficacy. It's not as bad as it used to be. Fuck you. And you've not won that argument. It says you. Yeah, I, we've won the argument. The logic is inescapable. Okay, and it's only through duplicity and nonsense that you've evaded it. And that's it. You're not you're not answering the question. Again, you don't think that the person doing the aggressive act has the obligation of proof? You don't think the person who's putting somebody else at jeopardy or pulling straws for somebody else has the obligation to demonstrate why it's a guarantee they win, this is a good idea? Why, if you're going to say, let's not do it fail-safe, let's do it risk-inevitable, uh, 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 that you have to demonstrate that you're going to accomplish something? If I claim there's a risk, I'm going to pollute the environment. I have to have a goddamn good reason to risk that. Fucking idiot. Um, the fact that I point out you've not won that argument does not mean I take cancer lightly. Does not mean, uh, for those who get it, that I, I think they shouldn't have the right to suicide, etc. 
I didn't say you didn't think they have a right to say, again, you're the one who can't fucking uh, make an argument that's rational. You're the one telling me because I'm against natalism, I should kill myself. I don't, I'm not making suicide advocacy videos beyond the fact that I think people should have a right to die. I'm not claiming I want to die, okay? I'm claiming I would want to die if this place wasn't a dirty shithole that needs to be cleaned up first. I don't think people should die leaving a huge mess in place. Duh. Life's Oh, uh, anyway, so I'm going through some more of the uh, suffering things. I'll be back. Let's just be careful, though. In Mendham's voices, if that's what you're going to sentence people, the language here is that of certainty, when in actual fact, the language is of chance. Well, I'm not going to argue this crap, okay? It's inevitable. It comes with the 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 activity, okay? So there, there's no way to separate the risk from you're not going to break the odds. You're not going to overwhelm the inevitable statistics. So again, if you endorse the action, it's, it's like gambling or anything else. You know what's going to happen. The gambler's going to lose their money. They're going to become alcoholics. They're going to beat their wife. You know, all that shit. You know what's going to happen. All right, it's not, it's totally predictable. So don't claim here that because there's a possibility that somehow there won't be harm in this one instance doesn't that doesn't give you any immunity. Again, if most women liked being raped, does that mean that rape should be okay? The chance of getting cancer, and um, the chances of getting cancer. Right? fairly high, I think it's that, like one in three, in, uh, but it's, that's a, what you call a, a lifetime risk. Ostensibly, cancer is an aging, uh, a disease of, of the aging, uh, and that isn't to say children don't get it, and it, it troubles us greatly when they do. Uh, it troubles you greatly, but obviously greatly doesn't mean enough to come up with some good reason for why you're imposing it. Again, some explanation for why you are going to claim the right to tell that kid that his cancer, we win, okay? You lose, but yeah, we won, all right? So that's all you're going to do. You're, that's all you're telling me. There's no way. I didn't even have fucking goddamn cancer, and you still haven't done anything, okay, to justify one of my miserable days. Not fucking one of them can be justified by anything you assholes are doing. Um... But, but your very language and framing of the question is completely faulty here. You're, you're now again, just more words out of your mouth that have absolutely nothing to do with an evidenced argument. You're not making some sort of evidence. You're not presenting a logical proof demonstrating why it's fallacious to sit there and ask you to prove that you're doing something of a sufficient merit to justify the cost of it. The cost is the suffering. It's inevitable with the activity. Okay, it will be incurred, and you're saying you have a right to do it. And I'm saying, where? Where is your right written? Where's your permit? Where's the test you passed? Where's your competency degree? Show me where your evidence is that you have a right to tell somebody else, I know it's worth it. I just know it. That's all. I just know it is good enough. Fuck you. Um, you know, you're framing me as though I'm saying, I like to sentence people to cancer. I like to be... Well, here you are. You're just as stupid as some idiot says, I personally don't rape, but I'm not going to vote against raping. Well, fuck you then. I hope you get raped. If people did deliberate, deliberate, you know what I'm trying to say, uh, deliberating, I can't say that word, I'm not mind, uh, diseases, um, all unfounded. You, you show me even hinting at such. Uh, there's no such video. 
I'm not. I am not such glibbest about. Uh, I'm, I'm just saying. Of course you are. Again, you won't make step one to stop the rape. You won't take step one to say you shouldn't do that. You're even saying give it to the poor. Give them the right to create the disaster and then pay for it too. So not only are you going to waste resource. Not only are you causing suffering, having the creation of the unhealthy children of the poor eating their McDonald's. Uh, not only are you create and the diseases and the rest of it that comes with their dirty environment, you're saying not only not only create that suffering, but now waste resources to care for that suffering that could have been used in some other more constructive way to prevent suffering. So you're you're taxing the whole system to you're, it's a double penalty you're going to impose. So fuck you. This is a, this your logic is is void of anything reasonable. These matters. It's your being glib in, in framing uh, the questions at issue of one of certainty. That when I grant life, that it is, is certain to be a, a dumb, uh, a doom and gloom life. It's certain that it's going to be the price paid. That will be the commodity paid as some percentage of people are going to despise the imposition, are going to find it totally offensive that they have been burdened with this nonsense because of your silly fucking notions. That's right. They're going to find it rude and obnoxious and disgusting and revolting. It's going to be torturous. And the torture is the knife that did it is in your fucking motherfucking hand, retard. You're either for it or you're against it. And it's a fact. And when you, when questions are posed at you as to how do you measure such things, all you do is, is, is brush off the subject glibly and, and fail to, to deal with the scrutiny you're under. Yeah, what scrutiny? Again, rainbows. Oh, shit. How do I deal with rainbows? No more rainbows. No more sunsets. No more seascapes. Oh, my. How horrible. You can just feel Venus's pain. Oh, that's right. Those are the arguments I do make. So you're just saying I don't respond to those arguments and I don't respond to them all the fucking goddamn time. I say you're all deluded, silly retards chasing a pink balloon. It's all subjective nonsense. The pink balloon has no intrinsic value. And your silly goddamn joy in, in experiencing has value. But it only has value because of your existence. If you didn't exist, there would be no loss. There would be no diminishment because there aren't retards chasing pink balloons in the universe. Is that your argument? <laughs> that, that, oh, yeah, the universe would be totally diminished if there weren't retarded humans chasing pink balloons. No, I'm afraid not. Okay. Next. All right, to the point of imposition, him acknowledging the imposition exists. Well, on imposition, I, I checked the dictionary, uh, and... Technically speaking, life's an imposition. So what? <laughs> well, there's. Yeah, so I'm totally correct in my statement. Okay, you just totally evade it. Yeah, so what is not a response? So what? So, so Hitler could say, so what? If somebody said, you know, your theory, your bigoted theory about Jews having horns and being evil, it's all nonsense. And he could just say, so what? Huh? That's the answer, huh? So what? It doesn't mean it's bad. Impositions are unilaterally. Oh, I mean, no. They're unilaterally wrong in this circumstance. Obviously, no one's using the word imposition here because you're imposing diamonds. Okay, you're imposing... Obviously, the statement is already clearly the context of the conversation is, is the imposition is an unwanted imposition. It's been stated in the argument numerous times that the imposition is unwanted, undesired, unrequested, and resented. Clearly, that's the statement, shithead. So again, who's misparaphrasing who? Who's perverting the argument? This, uh, there's no confusion over whether or not the victims uh, are stating clearly they feel like victims. Bad. I, I said, you know, my neighbour uh, one time was, was caught between, uh, in a, put in a difficult place and he, 
he asked me if I'd look after his, his kids, just keep his eye on them for five minutes while he ran and picked up his daughter from the other school. And uh, surely that's an imposition, um, an imposition which I consented to. Well, there we go, right, and there's no consent in this equation. I've already been over this shit, but those are the, that's the circumstance. If you're not getting consent to do something, then you have to be certain your imposition is going to be good. So if I take my neighbor's fucking uh, uh, house, you know, his equity in his house, okay, I get it from the bank somehow, and I decide to go to Las Vegas with it to make him more money, I have to be damn sure I'm going to win. All right, not a little bit sure, not just kind of sure. I have to be damn motherfucking sure if I'm going to play with his fucking welfare. And the statement here clearly being put to you people is that you don't have sufficient proof or evidence to justify your imposition. You haven't proven you know this is for the best. Um, but the question that's put to you is, how can, how can there be an issue of consent when consent cannot be got? Again, and how can you eviscerate the meaning of consent just merely because it can't be, for, it can't, can't be gotten? It's still a significant fact that it's not gotten. The fact that it's not gotten means that you have to be more diligent in your actions. So if you don't have a, a living will and somebody doesn't express their desires for their afterlife, uh, I mean for their uh, 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 health care, uh, in, in critical care. Um, and so now you're going to make a decision for them whether to pull the plug or not. Okay, now you are you have a higher standard of obligation. Now you have to try to dissect and figure out what they would have wanted. Okay, you have to do some fucking goddamn work. And you people don't want to do the work of demonstrating that you have a good reason for what you're doing. None whatsoever. You have no evidence that what you're doing compensates for what somebody else is calling the imposition of torture. I mean, again, without consent doesn't mean, the fact you can't get consent doesn't mean that you don't have to compensate for the lack of consent. The lack of consent is a significant fact. You have to compensate for it by having a certainty that's deserved, not arrogance. You can't face the lack of consent with arrogance. I mean, it's as obnoxious as some rapist. Well, I didn't ask the bitch. And uh, you're just saying, fuck the bitch. I mean, the bitch is the critical element here. Fuck the suffering is what you're saying clearly. They have no relevancy because you won't take the minor effort of proving yourself justified in imposing on them. Okay. No, not even close to fucking okay, jackass. Okay, so now I've just pointed out that why should I care about your right to die when you don't have any respect for my right not to be born? Well, I, I claim you have lots of rights, and I, the, I don't really expect much empathy of you. I find you, uh, you know, arrogant, self-righteous, um, self-believing... Um. Yeah, well, I'm rubber, you're glue, times two. Uh, you know, I can't tell you how little respect I have for your intellectual integrity, your honesty, or your intelligence. Yeah, you're a stupid, motherfucking, ignorant cunt who's using bullshit tactics and bullshit fucking argumentation. I mean, I put it to you. You don't have respect for my right, okay, to demand... Uh, that I not be played with as a consciousness, that I not be forced to remarch the march in the future because some ignorant bitch has an idiotic notion in her head. You have no respect for that right to prevention, okay? You won't take the evil penis out of the rapist fucking pants, will you? No, you won't chain that bastard up. You'll say, go let him loose. And I'm saying, fuck you. You're not doing me a favor there, buddy. Trasher of civility and, and respect of other folks. Yeah? Uh, no, yeah, no, you're the one eating the animals. You're the one who won't even acknowledge their sentience, which is a joke. You think consciousness is something only humans do. Um, fuck you. You're just a silly, stupid, ignorant bigot. Um, I don't expect a great law of you. I find it disgusting. 
Well, I mean, you know, I'm just saying that that's the response to your plea for your sad, pitiful circumstance of your need to commit suicide, is that, yes, it's really hard to give a fuck about your rights when you won't respect the ones that mean something to me. You think the right to die should mean something to people. Well, I think the right not to be born should mean something to people. If you're going to fucking violate my right not to be bothered, you better violate it with something better than... I just think so. Um, yeah, and I find you you disgusting likewise. So, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you can't do this, you can't do this bad as you deserve. I mean, here's this universal cura wishing me... Yeah, wishing you what you deserve. Okay, man. I don't know, that's just so crazy to actually wish that people get what they deserve. What a terrible thing to do. No, I think you should get exactly what you you deserve, um, and, and, you know, exactly. All right, because what you're doing here is making excuses for crimes against people's welfare for a non-existent, you don't even believe life is doing anything important or significant. You're just arguing from fucking some kind of rah-rah, it's the human team kind of fucking psychology. You're just defensive about it because you actually did play the game once, okay, and you did procreate, so somehow you have to rationalize your behavior as being somehow reasonable and sensible, when it was completely unreasonable and nonsensical. All the world's worst, apparently. Yeah, uh yeah, well, I'm just saying. <laughs> Are you okay? I hope you get what you deserve. I hope you get what what the 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 same the same torture you would jeopardize, the same torture you would risk somebody getting uh, uh, having. You should get. That's right. I'm perfectly willing to get the horror of no more baseball and to spend eternity lamenting the absence of baseball. I'm perfectly willing to accept that horror. You should get the opposite. Yeah, what was your credibility? Um, how are you not a complete hypo hypocrite here? Uh, hypocrite how? Oh yeah, no explanation. <laughs> oh yeah, another winner of an argument there. Huh? Next bit. Alright, well, you only let me speak four words. Um, anyway, you've been given lots of metaphors, examples, is what I was saying, and this is his response. Yeah, I've been given lots of metaphors, yeah? And you, you throw a hissy fit when I say, hey, these are metaphors. When a guy stands up to question the logic of your... Uh oh, bullshit. Okay, these are, look, it's simple, okay? All you have to do to, to defeat the argument is show how it isn't parallel, okay? How it isn't a, a legitimate metaphor, a legitimate parallel, or explain how the dilemma or conclusion drawn by the metaphor, the ugliness of the picture, why it's not ugly. So if I say to you that there's no excuse for, say, somebody running over a child to go to the grocery store to buy Pringles or something, um, but there is an excuse for, say, a fireman rushing to the, to the fire to save somebody burning to death. That one activity has an acceptable risk because you're actually accomplishing something of value, saving somebody from harm, where the other activity has no intrinsic value and it's just horrible. Now there, it's not a complex equation, so explain how it's justifiable to race recklessly, and that's how most people have babies, recklessly run to the store to get Pringles and jeopardize the welfare of the victims you are going to run over. Um, why do you have a right, I mean, I, I could just go back to the bird nest thing. Why do you have a right to lay eggs without a nest? And that's what people do all the time, and you know it. That this isn't challenging, but you're not going to, you're not going to explain why it makes sense that birds don't let build nests first. You're not going to be able to explain that or justify that. And you're certainly not going to be able to explain how, oh yes, the human race, the humans do build the nest first. They build a nice, good civilization, and then they have children in it. That's not how it works, right? They huge deficit spending. I, look, I've already made these arguments. You haven't answered any of this shit. You haven't rationally or fairly responded. You just glibly, again, walk right over it all, and then claim I've straw-manned you. What a joke. Argument and position. Then metaphors are no good. 
we're looking for concrete claims, not metaphoric claims. We're looking for, um, you know, literal claims. You have to use comparison, okay? Comparison is a perfectly rational way to, to, to draw parallels between circumstances and say, look, this is what we did in this circumstance. This is what we did in this circumstance. Look, we're not doing it in this third circumstance. We have to explain why. Okay, it's applying standards. That's the way you apply standards is to show where the standards exist in other things and then to show why it's missing in this circumstance. This is a perfectly rational way you discern whether something that's happening is duplicitous or hypocritical or not meritorious. Um, yeah, it's one of the obvious things. It's like it's arguing to the religious people and just pointing out that, well, if you're Jesus, you, if you can use faith to justify your Jesus, then somebody can use faith to justify their Mohammed. Uh, can we see that? Yeah, you know. All the I don't know what this is. It's all these figurative arguments um, that you make, you know, you deny their figurative. You deny their metaphors. You you won't attach concrete meaning to them. I can't, I can't fucking give you a book of God, you fucking idiot. The only way you can possibly argue anything is through comparison. The only way you can judge how bad a crime is is by comparison. The only way you can judge anything is by comparison. It's a comparison, you fucking cunt. Ugh, idiot. <laughs> Another four words. So, yeah, you don't want to respond to anything. You just mock everything, something like that. Well, what, you, what do you mean by mock? I mean your last video, which was just a silly thing with this stupid cartoon, you know, nonsense. It was just a mockery of a video. There was no argument made. There was just mocking of, oh, you're suffering. Oh, you're complaining. Oh, you don't think it's fair to not have consent. You just mock it. You step over it glibly. Standing up and saying, hey, cannibalism, you know, I don't know what you mean by that. Well, then you're stupid, okay? I mean, I've only contextualized it seven million times. I've explained to you the word's uses. And again, if you want to just call it parasitism, okay, there. Does that make it easier for you shit for brains? But, I mean, damn. It's really not that complicated. Eating something of your own value. Eating something of, of parallel uh, um, capacity to be harmed. I mean, this really isn't... Ex it's not that difficult. Um... I don't even know what you mean in terms of what I can concretely grip a hold of uh, to, to lead me somewhere to a conclusion that this is situation. Well, whatever. Yeah, again, you can't take a you can't make a grip out of something. This this is a, basically a slavery, a forced march imposed by people to satisfy their ambition. It's not that it's not that complicated. No consent and no demonstration that it's for their own good. Of there be cannibalism, if I concede that, for whatever it means in, in your lexicon. Well, in, in the broad scientific lexicon, again, many scientists use the word cannibalism to describe any circumstance where you are using the parts um, from one thing to fix something else. They call it cannibalizing. You know... Where does that take me? In a logical place. <clears throat> it takes you to the realization that usury, that using something else to gain what you want out of your life, okay, is invalid, that it's wrong, okay, that to, to grind up something, um, in the, you know, something of, of equal value to yourself eventually, if, if you're grinding up an arm today and a leg the next day and a, a liver the next day and it, and it adds up to being you. And if you don't vote for you being ground up, then why are you grinding people up? Where are the dependencies that lead to a conclusion? Because you keep saying, you know, it, this is logic. And in a prayer video recently, you said logic is math. I, I said it's a description of reality. It's a philosophy shithead. It's been derived through logic. I'm saying the logic is here's the truth of life on Earth, okay? It's a fucking replicating molecule. Its basic function is parasitic. Um, 
because it's an island planet and the life forms are basically just stealing the substance from each other and so basically it can be metaphored to a gladiator war where yes there's all this blood all these decapitated pieces so one asshole can hold up a sword and say I win I'm saying it's that fucking stupid okay and I'm saying logic leads you to that image that's the image logically representing what's happening on planet earth it's a logically coherent description of what takes place on this planet you fucking dumb cunt and you haven't counter argued that truth you haven't presented contrary evidence to gladiator war for no accomplishment there's no fucking counter argument from you um, can be stated mathematically and so I'm trying to get at the core logic and by excluding the metaphor the figurative speech. Well, there's no fucking point in excluding the metaphor because the metaphor is what gives it meaning, okay? I can't just... Obviously, it should occur to you, okay? You should be able to figure out for yourself that, oh, animals are sentient. They feel. Um, they can be harmed. If I stick a knife in their ass, they'll experience the horrible sensations. They'll be very unpleasant. They'll scream, yell, wiggle, squirm. Oh, I shouldn't do that to them. I mean, I'm, I, I thought you would be, I, I, I have the expectation that every human should be able to understand that. But you can't understand it, so now I have to compare it to like, well, what if it was a Teletubby? Or what if it was your cat? Or what if it was your mother? You know, I have to do that because you're too stupid to just sit there and say, shit, I understand, that sucks, that's suffering, god damn, I don't want, to, I don't want any part of that. I don't want to fucking any, I'm not putting any stamp of approval on that shit. Okay. God, dumb fucker. Anyway, I do have to prepare dinner and do some other things, so I think I will call this a part one or something. And if I get back to it, I get back to it. But he's obviously just too stupid for this conversation. There's just no point. He, I mean, he just he's just going to evade the argument, just like the quantum little pussies. You know, just use it as a wild card to jump out of the argument. Now he's just using, well, you can't use metaphor, and you can't use this, you can't use comparison, you can't use that, you can't use, you can't make an argument, okay? Um, and he's too stupid to figure out consumption, reproduction, parasitism, addiction. He's too stupid to say, yes, that's the truth of life on Earth. That's the basic DNA mechanism. It's basically a carnage war. Uh, the attrition rate is preposterously insane. Um, and it's created by dumb forces and obviously as dumb as a fucking post. And yes, it makes no cognitive sense to sit there and say, yes, make more of that. It's not a rational statement. It's an irrational statement that can only come out of your mouth if you're a fucking addict. Shit.